Hello, and welcome to the first episode of Developing a Plugin for Twit Control 1.56. Now, this tutorial uses Twit Control 1.56. However, uh, since the plugin manager is actually a good thing, it should be implemented in any later version, so this tutorial should also apply there. So, today we're going to um, be going over how to make a basic plugin for Twit Control and uh, how you can add it to Twit Control and make it super effective. So, um, Let's just say that when I start up Twit Control, I want it to uh, greet me with a message box with my name in it. So uh, when I start it up, I want it to say, hey Brandon. But uh, obviously, this is not going to be something that I can contact the developer about, seeing that uh, not everybody's name is Brandon and not everybody is going to want that. Well, you can easily solve this problem by creating your own plugin that does that for you. So um, as you can see here in Twit Control 1.56, we have added a plugins manager. So you can actually uh, install your own plugin and uh, make your own. So I'm going to teach you how to do that today. So the first thing you want to do is actually make a plugin folder. We're going to be working on the desktop, so I'm just going to create a plugin folder here. And this is going to contain all your plugin files. We're just going to name it Hey Brandon. And uh, if we delve into this uh, folder, we need to create another file. And we're just going to right click and press New text document to produce a new text document but we need to change it um, we need to actually change the extension to TCP standing for Twit Control Plugin and this is the standard extension that Twit Control uses to deal with plugins and then we need to um, give a name to our uh, this file now what we're going to be making is something that runs at startup so we need to be sure that we name the file startup.tcp this is uh, mandatory because now Twit Control knows that this uh, this is the file that it needs to run at startup, and not any other file. So now we can actually right-click the file, and uh, I'm going to edit with Notepad++ because this has uh, some very useful syntax highlighting. And then we're also going to, um, if you're using Notepad++ or any type, make sure your language is set to VB because this actually this Twit Control plugin system actually uses the VB.NET language. So if you're a VB.NET developer, you can make a Twit Control plugin very easily. Uh, I think it might also work with C++.NET or c -sharp.net, but I am not positive. Anyway, let's get straight to the coding. Now the first thing we want to do in any uh, file is create a comment displaying who made the plugin. So this plugin was made by Brandon. And now we actually need to relay uh, some information to uh, Twit Control first thing we need to do is uh, make sure that it knows to run this at startup and we can do this by um, actually creating a boolean so we're going to dim on start as boolean equal to true now this line is just like the name startup is mandatory for the plugin to uh, work otherwise twit control will not read the plugin and it will not work and um, there's also another type of plugin a command plugin which actually adds a command to um, Twit control, so you can uh, call that command from your Twitter or Facebook account. But um, we are not making a command plugin right now, so we need to tell Twit control that. So we're going to say dim command as boolean equal to false. So now Twit control knows that this is going to be a startup plugin and not a command plugin, so we can actually start coding what we want our plugin to do. So when Twit control starts up, we want it to um, display a message box saying, "Hey Brandon." So we just use simple VB code for this message box, open parenthesis, and then the text, "Hey Brandon." Actually, it's message box dot show. Sorry, and then we do "Hey Brandon." Close the quotations and then uh, close the parentheses, and uh, that should add the message box to the Twit Control application. However, if you go into Twit Control itself and uh, go into this plugins menu strip right here, you'll notice that is a, there is a sub menu strip with the list of all the installed plugins. Currently we only have dump installed which is a sample plugin uh, that's bundled with Twit Control. But um, if we want to add our plugin to that it is very simple so we're going to do that now. All we need to do is first access this little plugins menu which is called respectively plugins menu. And um, once that is accessed, we can actually say plugins menu dot drop down items dot add, 
and then we can open one parenthesis and add the text that we want to add. So we're just going to say this is, hey Brandon, a sample plugin for tutorial purposes. And so that should add the item to this uh, menu right here. So we'll get that as soon as uh, we load up Twit Control. So we can go ahead and uh, save this file now, and then close out of it. And then what we need to do now is uh, actually install the plugin into Twit Control. So we can do this by going to the Plugin Manager, and then where it says Install a Plugin, we're going to choose its path by clicking on this Browse button and uh, finding the folder, which is Hey Brandon, and then we simply press Install Plugin, and then it will tell you if it's success or if it failed. It's success in this case, so um, it tells us to restart Twit Control, so we're going to go ahead and do that. And now when we restart Twit Control, we actually get a message box that says, Hey Brandon, which is exactly what we coded it to do. And uh, also, once we go into the Plugins menu, and then the Plugins submenu, you can see our entry is a, Hey Brandon, a sample plugin for tutorial purposes. And that is because we coded it to be that way. So that is how you make a sample plugin. Um, in later tutorials, we are going to discuss how to make a about section for your plugin, just like... Um, dump has here where it has a whole about dialogue attached to it and we're also going to discuss how to actually make your plugin a command of course you can always do this by browsing the sample dump command in your Twit control directory but since this is a click once application it might actually be kind of hard to access your uh, Twit control directory and that's why we have the plugin manager here in later versions of Twit Control, we're actually going to have the ability to maybe right click the file and uh, press edit and it will open it for you so that should be useful for you developers. So thank you for watching this um, guide on how to create your own plugins. Uh, please remember to rate, comment, subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube. And have a great day.